What do you know? Welcome back and thank you for watching. Today we're going to watch another fine video from the angry vet who was bitching about a phone call he got from the sheriff's department stating there's a warrant out for his arrest because the veterans hospital is charging him with wiretapping. Enjoy the video. I just put a Pennsylvania's wiretapping law from ACLU just as an example of a wiretapping law. So you guys could view it. I'm going to show the Maryland wiretapping law further in the video. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, TAV family. I am coming to you live. Well, maybe not live, but I'll be posting this as soon as I'm done. Um, from an undisclosed location. Because apparently, oh, here, hold on, let me uh, show you. I'm at the cabin. I am, uh, that's the wood stove. And, uh, this is my current situation. Had a delivery to, to make up here, so not even in town so apparently the VA hospital has pressed charges against me yeah I got a phone call while driving up the road today from the Cecil County Sheriff's Department told me I had a warrant for my arrest that the VA hospital has uh, the sergeant of one of my videos I'll link the video charging me with disorderly and wiretapping hmm. yes wiretapping boy for somebody claiming to stand up for everybody's rights he sure doesn't know the law he actually should have read the law before he started doing this because now he's actually violating Maryland's wiretapping law, which is basically he has to have everybody's consent to record whether you're in public or in a private area. And uh, disorderly. I asked him what it was for. He, he said the VA hospital is charging me with wiretapping and disorderly. And... Uh, I, I said, are these, what is, are these federal charges? And he said, no, that they're state charges. And that apparently, I guess, I'm guessing the victim in all of this is this sergeant that he speaks of. And I asked him, well, how, how is that even possible? I said, shouldn't the charges be federal charges if this sergeant is doing And why didn't the sergeant, you know, arrest me at, at the point of, you know, this alleged uh, wiretapping and uh, disorderly? He couldn't answer that. Actually, he probably could have, but legally, was he allowed to? That's the question. But let me ask you this. Why would he want to answer those type of questions for a frauditor when he would get in trouble for doing it? Because you know the frauditors are going to record this conversation. He said he just wanted to make sure he was protecting my rights, that he knew I was a First Amendment auditor, and he knew that I had just been at Northeast Police Department and that I was at emissions and yada, yada, yada. And he, and he made out that um, he was behind me, I guess. Like, it seemed like, you know, he was like, I'm a vet too. I understand what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. And, and he, I'm protecting your rights. And I, and I said to him, I said, well... 
If if you were protecting my rights, then we wouldn't even be having this conversation. I believe the sheriff was actually doing this to cover his butt because he knows if he went against the auditor and said that he thinks the officer was in the right, you know what would happen. The sheriff's department would be attacked with a thousand phone calls, emails, 24-7. Right? I mean, it's just a guess. And uh, he said, well, that's an ignorant statement. So I told him to mail me the, the, this warrant that, that he has and uh, get it in my hands so I can give it to my lawyer and my lawyer can take care of it. You know what the sheriff's department should actually do is serve the warrant about 5 o'clock at night on a Friday. That way when they arrest him, take him to jail. He has to stay in jail until Monday to see a magistrate or a judge, whatever they go to see in Maryland. This is uh, disconcerting, to say the least. I don't know. A lot of questions, really. Like, I mean, the alleged victim even told me on camera that I was not breaking any laws. You watch the video for yourselves and let me know what you think. Um, I think I'm being forced to open civil litigation on the VA hospital. Are you seriously that much of a dumbass? You're going to file civil litigation against a veterans hospital, a hospital that takes care of veterans who are sick and injured and really hurt really bad because they did not help you out and they did not serve you because you were walking around with a camera and your feelings got hurt? Which is sad. It's very, very sad. I mean, if I hadn't had, if I hadn't had my camera recording that interaction, they definitely would have got away with not servicing me. Sorry, homeboy, but no, that's not true. They would have took very good care of you if you just walked in and did what you're supposed to do with your appointments. You don't go walking into the VA or anywhere. And with a camera just to film people because you are a so-called First Amendment frauditor. Because who would have who would believe me, right? Without the video. Who's gonna believe me without the video? The battle has begun. And um I honestly feel like this is war. What the hell did this clown just say? It's war? He's going to battle with the VA? Is he seriously that stupid? Holy shit. Well, anyways, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, and share this video. And remember, subscribing helps me out a lot. Thank you. Pay attention to the trolls, especially the ones that even name their channels, troll. You know, that's brilliant. What do you know?